Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two-minute playlist on wardrobe as promised. As Coco Chanel said, style stays forever while fashion keeps changing. And that said, clothes don't make the person, but they sure support or detract from the message that you want to give. Well-designed ensembles flatter your figure type with minimal and elegant accessories, add style, polish, and generates a positive impression for you and your business or whatever the message is that you want to send. And a very simple question to ask yourself is, does my outfit strengthen or detract from the impression I'd like to make? Because it always does, one way or the other. And also ask yourself, do I make use of all my clothing? Even the items in the back of the closet. Does your wardrobe look good and feel good? If it does, that's great. And if not, there may be some redesigning to do. Did you know that it costs well over $65,000 in a lifetime on fashion mistakes? How many shoes have you got or blouses or jeans or tops or anything that you've bought and it was a mistake or you've never worn it or it's sitting in the back of the closet or it may still be in the package? Those are things to think about. And you know, wardrobing is the same as your approach to makeup or hair design. When it looks good, it's easy to manage and easy to organize. You always feel great and look great. And then you can get on with all the other things that are important in your life. Remember, personal packaging is important. And when it's done right, then you don't have to think about it. So what I'd like you to do, uh, you know, to think about before the next video is up in this series is to look at your wardrobe, go through it and see uh, if everything fits you properly. Is the proportion, style and structure right for your figure type? Uh, are your clothes uh, um, uh, designed for the particular lifestyle that you're living at this point? And does the color and fit and appropriateness for your frame and the business you are in work well? Are they first rate? Does it, does it just look good? And every single piece, ladies, every single piece needs to do that. And also, if you can get at least two to three different uses out of one piece of wardrobe, that's smart management, it's good for the environment, and it's much easier on your budget and easier to organize. And here's the number one rule to think about. Your clothing should strengthen your strengths and camouflage your weaknesses. Every item, every single item should do that for you. And here's something that I truly support. Lots of color, pattern, uh, and that sort of thing doesn't give you uh, a well-turned-out wardrobe. In fact, it confuses, especially when you're going through the transition of gray hair or you have gray hair that's various shades of gray, which many do. Keeping your wardrobe simple and your makeup correct for you, it puts the focus around your face, your eyes and your mouth, which are your communication tools. Now, if you want to detract from that, then wear a pair of, uh, you know, red shoes like Dorothy wore in The Wizard of Oz. The eye will be drawn to wherever the strongest color is. So if you think of your wardrobe as a frame with your face as the picture, you've got the right idea on on presenting yourself. No matter what business you're in, it, it will always be you that's the focus, not what you're wearing. And let's face it, when they say, you know, the best dressed person in all of the magazines and, you know, the TV shows that tout this sort of thing, how many of us can afford a six, eight or ten thousand dollars for an ensemble? I don't know about you, but I'm not at that point in my life where I can. And in fact, it can be a waste. And keeping it simple, like in makeup or hair design, is the best. If you stick with your classic neutrals and only wear two to three colors at a time. You will not pull the focus away from you. The person viewing you won't be fighting to try to figure out where they should zero in on. If you keep your face 
your main communication tool, the thing that stands out, and everything else supports that, you'll have it going on for anything that you're involved in. And regarding accessories, in my not so humble opinion, less is more. The more classic and simple the look, the more striking, timeless, chic, and elegant it is. So that's it for this week, ladies. I'd like you to just think about a few of the things that I've pointed out. Take a visit into your closet and into your drawers and check everything out and really think about it. And now is the time to start a wardrobe um, list of some kind or open up a Word document and have a listing of what's in your wardrobe. Another quick idea is to take pictures, and especially with your camera phones, it's so easy to do, and to put outfits together and take a picture and then log them so that if you're not sure what to wear, you can just call them up on your computer. That's another just a little tip that, uh, that I've used, and I think it works really great. Anyway, think about these things, and we'll be seeing you next time with lots more to talk about. Enjoy!